What is going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new squad builder here on FIFA 16 of course If you do enjoy this video, it would be awesome if you could get it over 15 likes, that would be fantastic Subscribe if you're not already to become a part of the Niche Nation And comments and feedback are always appreciated down below Before we go any further, I must apologise, I've got a bit of a cold coming on at the moment So sorry if I sound a bit bunged up, my nose is just like blocked to the high hells at the moment But um, the team that you can see on the screen is the team that we're going to be focusing on of course It costs roughly about 1.2 million I'll say that straight away, but a massive, massive amount of that 1.2 million is in Luka Modric's Team of the Year card. But uh, this is the team that we're looking at. We've got David De Gea in goal, absolutely great goalkeeper. I played 32,500 coins for him. This is quite some time ago, though, now, as you'll see with quite a few of these players. I purchased them a while ago. But um, yeah, he's a really, really solid goalkeeper, as you'd expect. A lot of these players, actually, are players that I've used many a time on this game. Really, really enjoy them, and I sort of put them on in a little squad together. We've got Tremulinas at left back. Not going to cost him more than a thousand coins, and I swear to God, lads, he's one of the best left backs on the game. He's absolutely awesome, well rounded. Exactly the same could be said for his uh, French compatriot. Right? Is that the word? I, I don't know. But for his French teammate, uh, Matteo Debouchy, again, really, really solid and well rounded card. I played 70 games with him, and of, of any Premier League team I do now, I always use Debussy because he's just so, so reliable. We've got the Man City partnership at the centre-back positions of Vincent Company and uh, Nicholas Otamendi. Of course, I'm sure some people will point out that I could use Mangala to get that link with Tremolinas to increase the chemistry because, as you can see, uh, Otamendi is only on 8. You could get him onto, obviously, full chem there. But... I personally just love the partnership of uh, Man uh, sorry of Otamendi and company on this game. I think they're so solid next to each other. Both really, really well rated and good centre backs on this game. Moving into the field, we've got Infon Krajkoviak. Of course, you've seen me use him in many videos before. Really, really solid C C <coughs> CDM on the uh, in the BBVA. Well rounded, and he's one of those that I think you could use Busquets, who's higher rated. But to me, every stat on Krajkoviak's card, I think, is pretty much the same as or higher than Busquets's. Especially the pace, which again isn't fantastic, but 72 is a lot more than some of the other BBVA options. Uh, the other side we got Yaya Torre. I originally used Fernandinho, but Yaya Torre, I thought, well, try mate, just to add a bit more height, strength, metal into that midfield to go along with Krokoviak, and he has been superb. As you'll see in one of the goals, he goes on a bombarding run, sets up De Bruyne, who finishes nicely. In the centre of the team, the centre of that midfield, you could say the main man in the team, 700k's worth here of Team of the Year, Luka Modric. I actually packed him in a free pack on Monday, the weekly pack that I got, I got him in, which is absolutely crazy. See, so I thought, you know what? I've got to do something with him, so I thought we'll do a squad with him and throw him in there, and he has been exceptional. You can see 11 games, 6 goals and 4 assists. Not a bad return at all from centre mid. He's really, really good on the dribble, and he's got a decent long shot as well, but he seems to link up the player fantastically well. You all know by now, I love having a player in this formation, in that particular position, that contributes more as a cam than a centre mid, and Modric does that fantastically well. And on the left-hand side, we've got regular card Conor Bianchi. You could, of course, if you want to, go for his uh, inform or second inform, but for me, he's just regular card seems to really do the job, in my opinion. You can see 11 games, 7 goals, and 2 assists. is absolutely superb from that left-hand side. We got third in form, De Bruyne on another side. Some of you may have seen I did a play review on this card a few weeks ago now when it first came out. Absolutely love it. One of the best cards in the game, in my opinion. You can see for me now, 14 games, 9 goals and 4 assists. His long shots, his passing, his dribbling is all absolutely exceptional. And then leading along, we have got Kareem Egg, a.k.a. Kareem the Dream, a.k.a. Kareem Benzema. One of my favourite strikers on the game. Again, I've had this card for quite some time. 43 games, 31 goals and 17 assists. Absolute monster. And I think what you will see in this team, actually, is there is a hell of a lot of match winners in there. People like Modric, De Bruyne, Conor Blianca, uh, Benzema, Yaya Torre. All players that can come up with long shots, come up with pieces of magic that can win you the game, but it does also play well as a team on the whole as well. I think the only player that isn't on full chem in the entire team, so I know people don't like it when I do this, but uh, when I don't have like a full full chem team, I personally don't mind people on 7 or 8 chem. I think Otamendi is the only one, but other than that, it is a complete full chem team. I have got the right manager in there as well to maximise that, of course, but uh, yeah, that's going to pretty much bring us to the end of the talking segment. We're now going to roll the goals. I hope you all enjoyed this t this uh, squad builder. Like I said at the start, if you did, make sure to uh, leave a big thumbs up on it, and I'll speak to tomorrow with a brand new player review from someone in the team like once again i apologize that i sound a bit bunged up but hopefully we'll be back to full fitness soon not that i'm far off that anyway of course it's not that bad but um yep hope you all have a fantastic day lads roll the goals and i'll speak to you tomorrow
Yo, he's niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free, it costs nothing. Peace.